My name is Betty Makoni. I'm the founder and chief executive officer of Girl Child Network Worldwide. I am here to send my deepest condolences to the family of Les One, to friends, to Defense for Children International Canada. When I learned that Les had died, my heart bled. I recall meeting Les many times. He was always there when I visited. He came to pass on a greeting. He came to give a smile. He came to shake my hand. He came to encourage me. Les did not only support me, he supported many people around the world. So what I've done to remember him was to write a poem. I'm not there in person and my hope is that through my voice you will also get to know that I am also bereaved. I feel loss of a friend, of a colleague. To my friend Agnes Samla and also to my friend Bill Sparks, I just want to say take courage at this hour. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to recite a poem that I wrote for Les. Hopefully Les, wherever you are, you will hear that I've come to honor you and I've also come to celebrate your life. The title of my poem is called Les Horn Was Always There. There was a time and there is a time when I meet people with a purpose. There are moments when such people are with points and pointers. Such people are always there even if my audience be counted as one. They fill the space not with numbers, but with their love and compassion. They are not there as VIP, very important people. They are just there with no VI, very important, but just the people. Attentive ears and solid solidarity. One man who stands out among such people is Les Horn. Les Horn was just always there. Today I mourn for a man who is seated at front row, middle is empty, but whose compassionate and spirit fills our hearts. The man I saw leading a big applause when I spoke. Now with this poem I know will raise his spiritual applause. A man who with his heart saved the children quietly and efficiently. A man who every time I touched the land of Canada, touched my hand, made me stronger in moments of persecution back home. A man who believed in others and believed his support to others was to support to children. Children never his, but fought for day and night. Founder of Defense for Children International Canada. Les was always there. Those who spoke, he paid attention. He asked questions. Those who he knew as me, he sought to know and impress. That seat Les took to listen is one seat I know through and through. It's empty and its emptiness leaves quite some void. Even as he physically not there because he was always there. Less one is always here now, spiritually. For how can only today he not be here? When he was on time, he was always here. Less one is and was always there. Rest in peace, Less. This is your friend. Betty.